Hi, my name is Justin Umtham and welcome to North American TV. Moving can be costly for anyone these days and oftentimes homeowners cringe at the thought of having yet another expense to worry about. But what if you knew some simple tips on how to reduce several of these costs? Wouldn't that take some of the stress away from moving? Well today we're going to walk you through seven quick ways to do just this. Save money on your move. So let's begin. One of the first factors you need to consider before moving is whether you're going to do it yourself or hire a moving company. Either way, it's important to set up a budget that's relevant to this option you choose and weigh the cost of each. Once you've done this, keep in mind the following seven ways to reduce your moving costs. Number one, plan to move during the industry's off season. One of the busiest times of year for moving companies is during the summer, on holidays, and on weekends. If you want to save yourself some extra costs that companies charge during these busy times, it's best to plan your move during the spring or fall time. Also, if possible, have the company move you during the week instead of on the weekend. Oftentimes, rates are higher on the weekends than during the week. Number two, reduce the amount of items you pack. Since moving costs are dependent upon weight, it's best to go through each of your items and get rid of unnecessary clutter. The best way to do this is to think of the items you haven't worn in over a year, then hold a garage sale or offer some of them to your friends. Number three, be flexible with the movers on your pickup and delivery dates. Working with the company's time frame instead of just on your own can oftentimes earn you a discount. If possible, give the movers three to five days to deliver your items and three to five days to pick them up. Number four, do your own packing. Although this will save you some money, it's important to remember, however, that proper packing is crucial. If you decide not to use professionals, be sure you at least know how to safely pack each of your items to ensure that nothing gets broken during the actual move. Number five, be sure your new home is ready to be moved into on the day of your move. Without ensuring this, you could face a storage and transit fee if the moving company needs to store your items before they're able to be placed into your new home. This fee may also result if you're unable to pay the agreed upon amount for your move at the agreed upon time. Number six, keep all of your receipts. When tax time comes, you'll be able to deduct some allowable expenses off your income taxes. If you're unsure whether you qualify for these deductions or need tax forms for moving expenses, visit the IRS website or consult your local accountant. Number seven, ask about the cost associated with moving heavier and bulky items. Items such as boats, recreational vehicles, washing machines, dryers, etc. will cost you extra to move. If you want to avoid these charges, look into the cost of renting a trailer to move these items yourself. Now that you know seven easy ways to save costs on your move, it's time for you to put them to use. So get out there and start saving yourself some money. Thanks for watching with North American TV. I'm Justin Umpham wishing you a safe and easy move.